In 1810, the call for war with Great Britain is renewed by a group of newly elected representatives who become known as the War Hawks. Led by Henry Clay and John C. Calhoun, these congressmen represent pioneer communities of the western and southern frontier. The people of the frontier believe that war with Great Britain would solve one of their most serious problems, the threat of an Indian uprising supported by the British in Canada. With the rapid advance of the frontier, these Indian tribes have been forced to surrender most of the lands that had been their homes and hunting grounds for many generations. But by 1810, a new Indian leader, a Shawnee warrior named Tecumseh, has begun to organize the tribes into a confederation that could become strong enough to resist the further advance of the frontier. Tecumseh's headquarters is in a village on Tippecanoe Creek in northern Indiana. On November 7, 1811, about a mile from the village, the Indians are engaged in a battle with troops led by William Henry Harrison, the governor of the Indiana Territory. The Indians are driven off and their village destroyed. In his report of the Battle of Tippecanoe, Harrison declares that the British in Canada have supplied the Indians with arms and ammunition. The report helps to intensify the demands of frontier settlers for war with Britain. The Battle of Tippecanoe has set off a full-scale uprising among the Indians. Pioneer families must be on constant guard against attack. It appears that the safety of the frontier can be assured only by an invasion of Canada to drive the British out of North America. In Washington, President James Madison yields to increasing pressure from the War Hawks and asks Congress to pass a declaration of war against Great Britain. June 1812. In New England, where most people are strongly opposed to a declaration of war, unwelcome news has been received from Washington. Bells sound a funeral dirge. And flags are lowered to half-mast. Posted bulletins give the details. Congress has approved the President's request for a declaration of war. The people of New England fear that war with Great Britain will cause further damage to American foreign trade, which is vital to the economy of the Northeastern states. But their senators and congressmen have been outvoted by the war hawks of the frontier states. <laughs> 